Six months ago, the Wellington Dukes and Trenton Golden Hawks were both bounced from the first round, the shortened first round of the OJHL Buckland Cup playoffs. They come back around to the 2022-23 season against each other for the first time of five in the Battle of Quinty and the Hasty Peace Cup Series. Actually get the two points tonight, get a win, and get out of Dodge and go to Milton on Sunday with a little more confidence. Wellington, the host team tonight is 6-4-2-0 on the year with 14 points. That settles them fifth in the Southeast Conference. Trenton has played three more games, or 10 and five, so they have 20 points, sitting fourth in the Southeast. But again, three more games they've played over Wellington, so they have the advantage there. But this has been a very exciting battle of Quinty, as it always is between these two teams, the Dukes and the Golden Hawks. And again, both teams had a battle for the top spot in the East Division. In fact, it was Trenton that came off with a hot start, winning their first 10 games in a row. And then all of a sudden, they slowly started to falter or lose the wind out of their sails. Wellington, meantime, had a bit of a difficult start. They went 500 through the first 16 games of the year, eight and eight. And then all of a sudden, it turned completely around for them. They ended up rolling on a 22 and three run throughout the rest of the season in the second half after the COVID pause. And they clinched the division late despite that loss to Trenton. They clinched the division on the Sunday of the final weekend of the regular season. Seahawks lost to Lindsay, so that's how Wellington shaded Trenton by a couple of points. Local uh, flavor here with the Belleville Junior Bulls and the Prince Edward County Kings. Ethan Fraser gets the start for the Jihawks. I mentioned the native of Belleville. Seven wins on the year at 275 goals against and a save percentage just under 900. While Jacob Osborne of Gloucester making his seventh start of the year for the Dukes. He's 3-2-1 at 270 goals against a save percentage of 918. And the Dukes, in fact, just shaded Trenton by one point last season. They had two fewer wins, but they had more points based off of seven overtime losses. Trenton was 36-16-0-2 under Peter Goulet. Wellington 34-13-0-7 under Derek Smith. And there is the man himself, Jerome DuPont, back after a five-year absence from the Jayhawks bench. He was in the university level with the Brock Badgers. He was helping out a bit uh, behind the scenes with Trenton, but he's back now. There's Derek Smith behind the Dukes bench. Puck is down and we're underway here in Wellington this Friday night. Great to have you along with us, wherever you may be watching on your TV, Quinty, as well as the Hockey TV Network. And Osborne makes a first glove save on that long floating wrist shot. So Trenton starting out with Austin DeRazio and Nathan Oiko on the back end up front is Jordan Fuller, Duncan Grube, and Matthew Cato. Wellington trying to get in there right away and there's a shot deflected up off the screen at a play. So two quick whistles, 13 seconds in. Both got the dump in. Wellington will try and work it around here. McCauley back in his own net for safety. McCauley trying to set the pace here. This game give the Dukes an opportunity, but Trenton completely swallowed it up. Here's Fournier hooking it back. Chance and Toby score. Sam Williamson, first score of the season for Trenton. Off a turnover by Graham McCauley. And Williamson makes good use of that opportunity. Gets the monkey off the back as you see him roll into the bench. A hard snapshot here, and it's David Fournier that picked it off on the replay. There was the pass, nice little hook there to beat McCauley. He was already preoccupied with Fournier, who was moving the puck. And Williamson, in one fluid motion, takes it, snaps it top shelf. Tough luck for Osborne there, definitely not his fault, but unfortunately for him, the Jayhawks were just all over that offensive sequence there, and they've got the first goal this night. Just under two minutes in. Here comes Jared Langdon ahead. Tipped off Jackson Boyer. Stickley didn't reach the red line. He does beat out Dylan Stiles to that loose puck. Stiles, the 6'822-pound behemoth out of the Cobico. Puck turned over. Chance in tight. Saved by Fraser on the rebound. Swatted away. Cato chasing down Eric McNeil. The Coburg native rolling out. McNeil feeding off to Mitchell. Will Mitchell stick handling in. Leaves it off. Jared Langdon with a chance in tight. That one came close. May have caught the iron. That's going to travel back out to, re to the red line there and turned over by Creo Solomon, who returns to the Dukes lineup. We'll have scratches here momentarily. Puck tip back to the line. Oikel drags, fires, blocked by Solomon in the slot. Still loose in there. They'll scrum for it. Mitchell can't clear. Cato keeps it on side for a moment. Douglas Najim. Trenton trying to clear here. The first try was no good. Second try blocked as well. Hunt slips it down low. Dukes have a second life as a centering pass attempt. That's going to get blocked and ends up being caught. As the net comes off, it's... Moorings just a touch. 6.39 gone in this opening frame with 
Drenton leading 1-0 on a goal by Sam Williamson, his first of the season. St. Catharines native, the son of Barry Colts coach and GM Marty Williamson. As the Dukes get set up here on the faceoff with Wellington controlling. Moskowitz feeding across, shot right on. They jam away at it. Frazier trying to find it. Where is it? It is going to stay out. And at the front door, the Dukes were knocking on it and just couldn't quite break their way in. Control by Burrell. Nine seconds left in the period. Shot. Osborne glances it away. Solomon trapped inside Duke's territory along with the rest of his team. Jacob is just going to take a seat on it and shove away Nate Burrell, who just gives him a dirty look back. And that's it for period number one. Trenton 12th, Wellington 7 in shots so far. And they've got the only goal. It came early, and it's the first of the year. First official goal is a Golden Hawk for Sam Williamson. He has a lot of loved ones in attendance, I'd imagine as the puck is down, and we're underway to begin period number two. Five seconds or so. Here comes Latre weaving in, deking around Douglas Nagel, looking to get to the net. Latre on the wraparound try. Good chance there. He thought he scored. Puck still loose in there. They're thinking they've scored. Now there's going to be some pushing and shoving as the G-Hawks took exception to Hunt's late poke. Latre thought it was in. And we'll get a second look at her Your TV feed. Latre, who scored his first OJHL goal on Sunday against St. Mike's in a penalty shot in the first period. Just about had his second in as many games. And again, for your TV Quinny audience, the second look on it, third look. Yeah, really tough to tell. Fraser had it locked in his pad. And again, still really can't see it. Maybe if we had an over, or not an overhead look, but a behind the net look. Might be able to see it a little clearer, but regardless, first intermission. And again, nice to see Jerome back in Trenton. There's a long shot, kicked out, rebound, scores! Grube in front of the net. Osborne made the initial save, but the Dukes couldn't clear out the second man coming in, and Duncan Grube was right on that doorstep. So was Jordan Fuller. And it looks like they're gonna give the goal to Fuller. Six and a half or so left in this second period. Right off the draw, there's the shot, there's the save. Grube and Fuller did get their sticks together at the same time. But it is gonna be Jordan Fuller that gets the goal, and the Springwater native has produced his third goal of the year. 18-year-olds so 2004-born players, four 2005-born players, and 106. And there's a shot right on from the short angle. Osborne to save, wrapper on attempt. That one came out the other side. Osborne diving out, and he just maybe got a sliver of it keep that puck in the front end of the goal line. 10 seconds remaining in this second stanza. Logus boots it along. Dukes have to hurry, but it looks like they're gonna run out of time. Mitchell, snap pass out of the reach of Latre. This is gonna go for icing, but it's not gonna matter because the period comes to an end. And the Trenton Golden Hawks add another marker onto their line. They lead two to nothing. Jordan Fuller on a rebound off a of faceoff, his third of the season. Coming up, we'll talk to Ed Moskowitz down, scoreboard down 5 0 at home to the Toronto Patriots. Halliburton has won over Oakville 5 1. Brantford and St. Mike's even at twos. Ditto for Burlington and Aurora. Georgetown has finally broken through against Pickering. They lead 1 0. Forced the G Hawks to turn around. Keeping them dizzy here as the Mover the puck out in front there, glanced off of Fraser. They can't clear it in the first try, but a good effort by Cato to knock it out in the second attempt. And Osborne now will stop it out from his goal. Stepped just a little out of his crease there to play to Jacob. Julian Jacob controls. Six, dishes it off there, deflected away. Shot coming from Moskowitz, through scores! Ed Moskowitz through a crowd power play goal, Wellington. And it's two to one. 2.36 into the third period. Kind of a broken play, but they'll take it. The Paul leading the line to the bench, so he may have gotten a touch on it. We'll take a, another look at it on our Your TV replay. There's the poke back, there's the shot, and La Palm did get the deflection. It happened so fast. Maybe, Eric, if we can slow it down just a little bit to see if that did get touched by any chance. You can see La Palm really putting it, putting it through there with the, with the celebration. In the middle, five seconds left. Jacob serves it ahead. Maybe one last chance here. La Palm driving in, cut off on the way, and that is it. The Trenton Golden Hawks, winners of 11 out of 16 to begin the 2022-23 regular season. They upend the Wellington Dukes 2-1 on this Friday night. 
here at the Duke Dome. And they gain point number one in the Battle of Quinty out of five. Three stars of the game, two goaltenders make up the two, two of the three slots and for good reason. Jacob Osborne, your third star with a total of 25 stops. Xander Latre, 24, and Will Mitchell, but either either way, Wellington gets a second star. Ethan Gray.